Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay right here. We'll have every kick of the ball from the Juventus Stadium on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It is Juventus, and they take on Milan. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Tia Pevin gets the nod in goal. Philip Kostic plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And the match here at the home of Juventus underway. trouble the opposition this time Benasser and blocked for now Vlahovic well an experienced forward is a must for any side and Olivier Giroud has bags of experience Stewart what do you expect to see from him today well he's playing with great confidence at the moment three goals in the last three games he looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. There's to win it back. Messias. The cross is on. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Benasser on a crucial intervention inside the box Giroud Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And 
And back underway. 1 0 it is. Di Maria. Getting forward. Vlaovic. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And the pass could do damage. Can he put it away? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's what they're doing. Vraovic. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. A real chance. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Juventus keep possession, and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? A well, disappointing end to the move. Well, as those stats show us, Milan haven't controlled the possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Alexandro. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Vlahovic. Tomori. Davide Calabria. Tonali with it. It's a promising Milan move. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Hernandez. Might it be Olivier Giroud? Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there goes the half-time whistle. That will do it for the first half here in Turin. Back in business here, and Milan very much bossing it in the first half of this match. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Quadrado. 
Di Maria now. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Junior Messias. Brahim. Messias. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, I must say, that goes down as a very disappointing effort. Locatelli. Vraovic. Who can he pick out? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And the Juventus personnel change here. Well, there it is. Juventus have controlled the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Yes, it's a matter of trying to break them down. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Could pull one back here. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. And that'll be a Milan ball. It's a substitution for Juventus. Teo Hernandez. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. Dusan Vlahovic. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Leal. Di Maria struggling to keep the ball. Benasser. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Just 15 minutes remaining. Junior Messias. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Giroud. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Kostic. Vraovic. A really intense pressure applied. Terrific block. Quadrado. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. The Bianconeri have given us away. Sandro Tonali. Brahim Diaz now. Bremer. Rabio. Di Maria now. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Kostic. And space to cross it. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.